So this is an incomplete picture. Uh, it's the name of this piece that I created for the Constructing a Digital Environment um, Art Science Hackathon in uh, July of 2022. Um, it explores uncertainty and data gaps in species trends uh, in the UK using a data set created by Charlie Elthwaite et al. Uh, in 2019 that's available on the EIDC. So we know that biodiversity is in crisis globally. And in the UK, we do a lot of work at the UK Centre for Ecology on Hydrology, assessing trends in species over time. And one of the big data sets that we've published on this is uh, Othway Tatel 2019 on the EIDC. Uh, I think what's one thing that interests me about this data set is the uncertainty within it. Um, and it's something that we think a lot about when we talk about um, the state of nature and reporting on the state of nature. Actually, when we look at these analyses of trends, we're really only reporting on a subset of biodiversity that is being monitored and being measured. And of those that are being monitored and measured, there's actually a lot of variation in the precision um, of those trends. So some species have a lot of data and we can say quite precisely how they're changing. And other species have very little data and it's very difficult to say how they're changing. So this piece is trying to explore those uncertainties and data gaps in this trends data. I use the data in R to build word clouds and the size and color of the text, the Latin name for each species was dependent on the certainty of the trend. So species with uncertain trend were in one colour and species with certain, uh, a certain trend were represented in a different colour. I then use this to drive the, uh, the engraving process. So when a species was very confident, the engraving line was very confident. And when the trend estimation for a species was uh, uncertain, the line became broken and hard to read. So that only those species with uh, strong and well-known trends are actually easy to read. They're kind of a visual representation of uncertainty through um, illegibility of the text. All the engraving was done at my makerspace on this big uh, 90 watt CO2 laser cutter, uh, which has special design software, which I was able to use in combination with the colors from R to specify how all those different engraving lines were drawn. The laser cutter is not the cheapest or easiest tool to use, but does allow you to do these really intricate um, engravings and cuts. And I use those uh, cuts to represent uh, the space, the gaps in the data uh, that we have. This was actually technically quite a challenge. You can see this, this piece has to be cut absolutely the right size for the hole uh, to within about 0.05 of a millimeter. Um, so it took quite a long time to get the settings just right so it's clear acrylic fit in the wood really snugly. The clear acrylic has this blue film in it, which is kind of handy. It protects it from getting scratched and glue on it. Uh, this big piece goes on the end there. But the, the blue it film is a bit of a faff to take off, so I spent quite a lot of time peeling off all the little tiny pieces. I made the frame out of three layers of wood, uh, uh, two layers of MDF and one layer of veneered American walnut. That allowed me to create a completely custom frame which fitted the design and style. It allowed me to create that cut edge on the frame which would then match up with the cut edge on the acrylic. Here you can see the acrylic with all the plastic taken off it. And I think all in all create this yeah really nice visual of this incomplete picture, pictures broken in half. This big knowledge gap on the right hand side represented by that void uh, created by the acrylic. The addition of the title, the state of nature at the bottom of the frame kind of incomplete was actually a, a bit of an afterthought, but I think it's a really nice addition to the piece. I also laser engraved this little information board, which can be displayed next to the picture. Um, just helps it to be interpreted and has all the information about how it was created and where the data set uh, came from, etc. All of the code 
and the vector design files and the laser cut design files they're all up and available on github and they're all cc0 so feel free to use them for um, whatever purpose you like if you're viewing this on youtube i'll put uh, information in the description uh, if you're on github then all the information should be on the uh, readme page all right hope you enjoyed it